This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Out first is Chavo Guerrero pinning Rey Mysterio 10 minutes, 59 seconds. Meltzer would say there was nothing wrong with the wrestling, but it was evident by the two minute mark in this match that it didn't have any heat, uh, not near the heat it should have with the buildup. It was given JBL's doing commentary and said that he had to hire extra security at his wedding in case Eddie fell off the wagon. So, uh, some weird, weird commentary here. Um, supposedly JBL winds up getting a little bit of heat over that line. And he also maybe had a little bit of heat when he is talking about the Batista match saying he cried like a little bitch when he had to give up the title, but in fairness, JBL is really cutting his teeth on commentary. So he's thrown right into the fire and maybe as a result has a little bit of heat. Well, you know, you tell somebody to go out there and open up and they go out and they open up and they're going to make mistakes. And the only way to learn is to make mistakes. Right. And if, if you don't, then you're not trying hard enough. So could JVL have maybe not said some of the things? Sure. But then I don't know that you wouldn't have gotten JBL. The finish of the match sees Mysterio do a face buster off the top rope with Guerrero and then hit the six one nine and the hurricane Rana over the top rope. Bless you. And at that point, Vicky Guerrero came out, uh, Meltzer would say to her credit, Vicky was animated as hell and came off as believably frantic for wanting the two to stop fighting, but it was way too obvious. This isn't what the people wanted to see. When Mysterio went to the top rope, he was being booed heavily. And at the same point, Vicky was climbing onto the apron and grabbed the top rope to pull herself off. This shaking the rope caused Mysterio to lose his balance. And he fell in the ring after crotching himself. Chavo put him away with a brain buster and a frog splash two and a quarter stars. I got to tell you, I thought Vicky did a great job here. And I like the execution of this where it feels like she's just trying to help herself up, but she accidentally cost Ray the match. Of course, uh, the eventual Vicky heel turn is a few days later, but I think it's arguable. This is Chavo's biggest win of his career at this point, beating Rey Mysterio at SummerSlam is a big damn deal. What'd you think of the match watching it back for the first time in all these years? Really? I thought it was excellent. Cause I can watch these guys work, you know, every day of the week, twice on Sunday, they did a great job. And this was, you know, just a little teaser setting everyone up for the Vicky turn. And I don't think anyone expected that at all. So, uh, the build, the execution, everything I thought was top notch. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.